Our next guest is no stranger to the big screen. Yahya Abdul-Mateen II played the villain Black Manta in the superhero movie Aquaman. He has also been in thrillers like Ambulance, Candyman, hit TV series Watchmen, and Matrix Resurrections. Now you can add Broadway star to his very impressive resume. Yeah. He'll make his Broadway debut in the revival of Top Dog, Underdog, opening later this month. It tells a story of two brothers, Lincoln and Booth, as they battle with their past and desire to be the best at three-card mind. If you don't know, that's the trick card game. Mm -hmm. Yaya Abdul-Mateen II is here joining us right now. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing excellent. It's a pleasure doing to be here. Doing excellent. We like that. Yeah, well, we're glad you're here. We're big fans. Now, you call this the, the ultimate role for you. Why? Oh, uh, man. I found this, uh, this role about 16 years ago. It was the very first contemporary piece of theater that I ever felt was... Um, that I found myself in. Mm. You know, I used to, Shakespeare used to be my thing. And then I found this and I said, oh, they talk like me. I know these people. And so I found my comfort zone in this space. And this was the first piece of theater that really uh, embraced me for who I was. And uh, that was about 16 years ago. I like ago. 16 Shakespeare years ago. was this thing. I yeah. Like that. Well, because you yeah. were in college at the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was you an undergraduate. Were, you went to uh, University of California, Berkeley to mm -hmm. study architecture. Said architecture. And then you end up in a theater class on a dare? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I, was on, I was on the track team, and a uh, really good friend of mine, he sort of said, uh, he said, uh, he said, dude, you should take a theater class. It's just like recess. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, you know, OK. OK. You know, I, I, you know yeah. I'm down for that. And I, I like recess. I like recess. Like, like an know? elective course in college. Exactly. Just like that. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um, and I went in, and the theater space really embraced me. And as soon as I found that space, uh, the world, that avenue just opened up and, wow. and, 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 you know, the lane Are you in touch open. with that friend who said that? I haven't talked to JP in about 15 years, but I should probably send him a note. I talk, <laughs> I talk about him a lot. Yes, I wonder what he thinks about all this. <laughs> Shout out to JP. But let's talk about the role because it's so intense. I went the other night. I was in seat row G, seat one and 102. Right. Did you see me? Uh, Going, yeah, yeah, that was me. I might have felt you. I might yeah, have yeah. Yes, I was very subtle. But the role is so intense. Yeah. LaShawn's happened to be there that night. She's uh -huh. one of the producers. Yeah. And she says, you should see how he prepares. He comes to the theater every day, an hour and a half early. Yeah. That he really, it's your first role, and you take it extremely seriously. What are you doing when you come an hour and a half? What is your process to get ready? Because it's intense. I don't know how you get that intensity it night after night. It depends on the day. Um, but, you know, I'm doing eight shows a week, so you yes. got to take care of your instrument. Of course. I'm hydrating. I'm doing boring stuff like yoga and stretching and uh, and doing all of that stuff. But then also just getting my mind ready, getting back in touch with the character, reminding myself of why I'm doing this play. You yeah. know, I want I want the Lincolns and the Booths to be able to come to the theater and to see themselves on that stage and to yeah. say, oh, somebody's telling our story. I see myself up there as a human. And also, when Lincoln and Booth come to this play, they're likely not going to be sitting in and see, <laughs> gee, they're going to be sitting way, yes. way up there in the back, yes. you know, making sure that they catch it all. So I yes. want to be able to have my instrument ready to make sure that they can the, feel everything that I'm giving off. The other thing, Yaya, is that I like a play that's lights, camera, action. This is a yeah. play play. It's just the two of you on stage yeah. the whole time, one scene. And I find sometimes those plays are hard, but it's so intense. It's oh, yeah. so, written so well. It's directed so well. And all of that is a testament to you and Corey, yeah. the preparation that you I do. I appreciate that. And to Susan Lloyd Parks as well. Yes. In the, in, you know, into our fabulous director, Kenny Leon. Susan Lloyd Parks said something the other night, and it'll always stick with me. She said, I wrote this play so that brothers like you can shine. Mm. Ah. You know. Yeah. You were doing uh, that. And, and, and it gives me the opportunity to do that. It gives Corey the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, I'm sure that someone's going to see this play, and they're going to be inspired to want to be an actor. Of course. Uh, uh, um, and to, and well, to find themselves into the theater know, also. Talk about shining, because you're also a Calvin Klein underwear model. This is the part. <laughs> you remove your clothes, and you sit here and do the rest uh, okay. of the interview. Dale, did no, you do your research <laughs> on that? <laughs> I did. We have a producer who shall remain nameless, Wendy. And she said, Yaya's coming today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she started shaking her shoulders and everything. Uh-oh. Yeah. She wasn't the only hey, person Wendy. that was doing that this morning. <laughs> So what does it mean? What does that part of your life mean to you? Are you 
having fun with that? Do you just think, okay, yeah, I got this? What's your, what's your thought process for that, uh, Mr. Well, Abdul Mateen II? My thought process is, you know, control the carbs and make sure that I, <laughs> right. you know, make sure that I, you know, hit my push ups and, right. and, uh, and look good. But no, I mean, it's fun. You know, all <laughs> yeah, of that is, 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 you know, this acting thing really opened up so many avenues for me mm -hmm. uh, to take care of myself, to be able to take care of my family, to step into dreams and, 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 you know, um, different parts of, of, of life that I always grew up watching but never really yeah. had a desire for or never really thought that I would take part in. And now I'm, I'm here right now yeah, uh, with, with, with yeah. amazing so company. Glad. And I get to do cool things like Calvin Klein. Yes. And, yeah. Well, you're a talented guy and a disciplined man. You know, we got tacos over there. We, <laughs> ate, them. we ate them in the last segment. If you I want like that, one on the way out. Dreams. You know what? I was looking at the tacos. Today's my day off. So I Okay, think, we got okay. you. I we got I you. Like you can yeah, have yeah, two. Abdul yeah. Mateen. <laughs> Second, we'll be right back. Thank you very much. <laughs> so much.